right, we're gonna start on watercolor and I'm gonna show you how to make a color wheel today. You're gonna need a dog dish of water and make sure that you don't fill it completely full. A pan of watercolors, a brush, paper towel, and the color wheel practice sheet. You're gonna start filling in each box and you can start with the primaries, yellow, red, and blue. Some of our watercolor pans have not been taken great care of. So you might have to do a little bit of maintenance on the watercolor pan before you start. So I would clean out each section of paint with a little water and your paper towel until you get a nice clean color. You'll paint each section in. I like to start with an outline first and then work your way around the color wheel. Here I'm getting ready to mix red and orange and so I'm clearing out the top of my tray so I have a clean mix surface. I've got a little bit of red and a little bit of orange to make red orange. Red orange is a tertiary color. That's what you get when you mix a secondary color with a primary. You can tell all the tertiary colors because of their names. They're usually two colors combined. A secondary color is when you mix two primaries, like yellow and red make orange. Here again I'm working on another tertiary so I'm outlining first because that will help keep the pigment from bleeding into other areas and then I fill in the middle. You're gonna wake, work your way all the way around the color wheel. Sometimes it takes me a couple times to mix the right color. Here I started with a color, but it looks really blue to me, so I'm adding a little bit more of that violet color. Now when we're finished, to take good care of our watercolors, I'm gonna wash a little bit or put a little water in the top of my tray and then wipe it out with my dirty, paper towel. So then it's ready for the next person to go and use this pan. Wipe off my surface and then I thought, oh, you know what? I better check to see that all my colors are still nice and clean. So the yellow looked a little dirty. So I'm using just a little paper towel and a brush to clear that out. I'm just going to go right back into our watercolor shelves. You're going to dump out any water you have in your dish bowl here and then just rinse your brush so that it's all clean. You can stack your dog bowls on the towel along with your brush. For your brush you can either lay it down on the towel to dry or put it in the cups but make sure that if you put it in the cups you're going to put the brush side up. Finally, put your name on your artwork and it goes in your period drawing rack. Make sure your name's on it because every color wheel is hopefully gonna look quite similar. All right, let's get started. 